this video you'll find out everything you need to know to get your totally wicked opal set up and ready to use. So first remove the packaging of the box and you'll find one opal battery, one GTL pod cartridge, a USB-C charging cable, two GTL 0.8 or atomizer heads and a user manual. So the first thing you want to do is to prime your atomizer head. So to do this, take one atomizer out of the packaging and drop a few drops of e-liquid onto the cotton material. So then simply push the atomizer head into the bottom of the cartridge until it's secured. So now you can put the pod cartridge onto the battery before you fill it with e-liquid. So this just pops in and stays in place with a magnetic connection. Now the GTL pod features simple sliding top fill, so you just push the top cap across where the arrow indicates, then squeeze some e-liquid into the hole. Now always leave at least a 2mm gap at the top of the cartridge, this is to avoid airlocks. So before you begin vaping, you should leave the filled tank for 5 minutes. So this gives the atomizer head time to soak, which will help to prevent it from burning out prematurely. So you're now almost ready to go. It's just a couple of settings to check before you start vaping. So first, turn your e-cig on with 5 quick clicks of the power button. Now the LED beneath the button will flash and the colour will indicate your battery level. Green for 60 to 100%, blue for 20 to 59% and red for less than 20%. So next you need to choose your power level. The Opal has 7 power levels from 10 to 25 watts. These go up in 2 or 3 watt increments. So to change your power level, use the up and down buttons beneath the display. Now your preferred power level is subjective, but when using the atomizer heads included with the kit, the recommended power output is between 12 and 18 watts. Your current wattage level will be displayed on the screen. So you now need to choose your airflow setting. Now this is set using the lever at the back of the device. You can view your current airflow at either of the slots on the side. The more of the slots which is exposed means a looser airflow and vice versa. So like your power level, your airflow is subjective, but somewhere in the middle is a good place to start and then you can adjust if you require. So you're now ready to go. So simply hold down the power button and inhale on the mouthpiece to activate the kit. Now it'll be already be partly charged and ready to use out the box, but when you do need to recharge, do so using the USB-C cable provided. You should always use either a specific e-cigarette wall plug, or plug the cable directly into a USB port on a laptop or a computer when charging your kit. From time to time your atomizer head will need changing. Now you'll know when it's time to change it because you'll experience a slight burnt taste a loss of flavour production or a loss of vapour production. So to change your atomizer head, take the pod out of the battery, pull out your current atomizer head and then dispose of it. So then simply repeat the steps from when you initially primed and fitted your atomizer head. Now remember to prime your atomizer head and leave it to soak in the tank for 5 minutes every time you change it. So that's all you need to know to get your Opal e-cigarette up and running. But if you have any further queries, and visit your local store, contact our customer service team or leave a comment below.